Cole Palmer, the Chelsea sensation who took the Premier League by storm in the 2023-24 season, has been at the center of one of the biggest shocks in this year's PFA Awards. Despite winning the prestigious PFA Men's Young Player of the Year Award, Palmer was surprisingly left out of the PFA Premier League Team of the Year. And, as you can imagine, fans are not happy. Palmer's season was nothing short of spectacular. After a high-profile move from Manchester City to Chelsea for £42.5 million, the 22-year-old forward quickly became the star player at Stamford Bridge. With 22 goals and 11 assists, Palmer contributed more goals and assists than anyone else in the league, surpassing big names like Erling Haaland and Ollie Watkins. Yet somehow, when the players voted for the team of the year, Palmer didn't make the cut. How does that even happen? Palmer's performances were nothing short of extraordinary. He wasn't just scoring goals, he was carrying a Chelsea team that had its fair share of struggles last season. Whether it was his two hat-tricks, including one against Manchester United, or his crucial assists that secured European football for Chelsea, Palmer was the main man at Stamford Bridge. But despite all this, Palmer didn't receive enough votes from his peers to make the team of the year. Instead, players like Phil Foden, Martin Odegaard, and Declan Rice were named to the 11. While these players undoubtedly had great seasons, many fans were left wondering, how do you leave out the player who topped the gold contribution charts? Fans were quick to voice their frustrations on social media, and the reactions were intense. One fan tweeted, No Cole Palmer in Team of the Year? Are you freaking joking? Trying to compensate Odegaard or what? Ridiculous! Another fan echoed the sentiment, pointing out that Palmer contributed the most goals and assists, saying, so the person with the most G slash it didn't get in? What? These reactions highlight a larger issue with the voting process for the PFA Awards. While the players themselves vote for these honors, it's clear that some decisions have left fans, and even pundits, questioning the criteria. If stats like gold contributions don't guarantee a spot, what does? On the night of the PFA Awards, Palmer walked away with the Young Player of the Year title, which only made his exclusion from the Team of the Year more perplexing. It raises an interesting question, how can a player be recognized as the best young talent in the league and yet not be considered one of the top players overall? Is this a flaw in the voting system? Or was Palmer simply overlooked in favor of more established names? Phil Foden, Palmer's former teammate at Manchester City, was named to the Team of the Year and also picked up the PFA Men's Player of the Year award. Foden had a standout season, no doubt, but Palmer's omission still stings for many, especially given how critical he was to Chelsea's success. If we dive into the stats, Palmer's contributions are undeniable. He notched up 33 goal contributions, more than Foden, Holland, and Watkins. His ability to step up in crucial moments and lead an inconsistent Chelsea side was impressive, to say the least. Yet, despite these numbers, Palmer was left out of the final 11, sparking debates about whether the PFA awards truly reflect the best performers of the season. This situation also raises another question, what impact does this have on the player himself? For Cole Palmer, this season was a breakout year, one where he proved he could be a leader and a star in one of the toughest leagues in the world. Being left out of the team of the year might feel like a snub, but Palmer's performances on the pitch speak for themselves. And if this season was any indication, we haven't seen the last of him. Cole Palmer's omission from the PFA Premier League Team of the Year has sparked a lot of conversation, and rightly so. While awards are important, they don't always tell the full story. Palmer's performances this season have made a lasting impression, and regardless of this snub, his future looks incredibly bright. Thank you for joining us on the fame journey. What do you think? Was Cole Palmer unfairly left out of the Team of the Year? Or was the selection justified? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest stories in sports and entertainment. Until next time, keep chasing those dreams!